now drawing five of their seven league matches at Estadio San Mamesh. The captains exchanging best wishes ahead of match time. Fabio Cannavaro, almost exactly one year removed from winning FIFA World Player of the Year honors, but the present all that mattered at El Catedral on the night. Bilbao with a long, hopeful ball. It leads to a look for Areola, but Iker Casillas with a nice-looking stop. 20 minutes later, even closer call for the home side. Great ball in. Fernando Llorente sees this one directed off of the post. Terrific service. Casillas doing enough to keep it out. He is an elite keeper for sure. Late in the period, Real Madrid going for goal, and they knock one across the line. But hang on, because this one chalked off for offside, as you can see on the replay. White shirts goal side of the line before the ball is played. The official gets it right. Sergio Ramos, uh, I'm guessing, not the least bit interested in what the official thought. He wanted the goal. After the interval, it's the home team caught under pressure, and Real Madrid steams forward and finishes. Rude Van Nistelrooy acting anything but rude here. This is pure <laughs> class. Eyes for goal, 1-0 Real Madrid on a dandy. Van Nistelrooy thinking one thing from the moment he takes control, and excellence comes at the end of it all. The league leaders then trying to put this one to bed. Rabinho taking a turn in the spotlight. But that post gets in the way. Outstanding, but it's just a miss in the end. Real Madrid with enough. The champs win it 1-0 at Bilbao. Some highlights we like to call Osasuna. We start. Adrian Reese Pelvis is not cooperating. So still don't have the big four, but they've got three of them as Barca takes on Deportivo. They also get Deco back into the lineup. For this one, Deportivo cares not a bit. Hidalgo Christian, the hammer job from long range. And it got through Victor Valdez. Deportivo takes a 1-0 lead. Valdez looks disappointed. You get a better look on the replay as he gets a couple of mitts on that one and could not swat it away. 20 minutes later, Ronaldinho, the free kick, almost gets past Gustavo Manua. Then everybody gets a crack at it. Eto and Messi and Puyol, but nothing is going to get through on this one. What about Dasher and Blitzen? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Five minutes from half, Christian scored the goal, gets the goat horns for the penalty there. Ronaldinho pounds it in, tying the match at one, number six for him in the league. And then Barca cranked up the attack in the second half. It's Javi on the spot for the rebound. 2-1 Barca in the 71st. That lead held up as they keep pace with Real Madrid. Villarreal in action, their coach Manuel Pellegrini pacing his title hopefuls at home to lowly Real Batiste. It should be pretty easy. Batiste loses a four of five, but opening the scoring, Jesus Prado, incredibly wide open. 1-0 in the ninth, great start for the visitors. Gisco Munoz with the ball in, the man known as Capi nods it into the net, and suddenly that upset. Well, it could be possible. They've got themselves a lead, but lots of time remaining. Yellow Submarines would have chances. Mistake at the back along Santi Cazorla to let fly. Ricardo with a diving save and Betis expecting a push from Villarreal. They are getting it. And that push continues. Near the interval, some nice passing leading to a chance for Cazorla. He whips it, but he whips it right off the post. Betis snatching the 1-0 victory. Little entertainment from Atletico Madrid and Hitafe. Atletico Sergio Aguero getting the golden boy as the top under-21 player in Europe. We'll see him a little later on in this one. 20th minute, Simao Sabrosa on the run. Knows he's got Diego Forlan coming hard in the middle. Waits and finds him, and Forlan finds the net. It's 1-0 Atletico and goals in back-to-back -back games for Forlan, and that's number six on the season. 27th, Atafe, golden opportunity, smartly 2-on-1, -on but Juan Albin can't hit water from the boat. My goodness, 32nd, Atletico with the free kick, Mariano Pernia rockets one off the bar. Looked like Roberto Abandanzieri got a little bit of a touch on it. 1-0 to half. Long shot from Esteban Granero. Saved by Abiati, and then the second one's even better. Oh, my goodness. The dive, and then goes back to get it, and then all of a sudden it's rocketed right back at him, but he oh. gets a hand on it going away. Then apparently everybody went nuts. Aguero, blatant handball, second yellow. He's done. Eight minutes later, Lucas Light takes out Maxi Rodriguez from behind. His second yellow, he's out. 77th minute, Abadanzieri out of the box, puts his hand on it. It's another yellow and another red card. Hatafe already had used his three subs, so put the man in net. And then Jose Antonio Reyes, the hammer job. They're down to nine on nine. Blanco Kepa 
testing Abiati, but he holds on for the clean sheet. Atletico wins it 1-0, and they're moving on up. Clean up your games, would you? Man. Real Zaragoza at home to Espanyol. Home team loses a 4-5 coming in, looking good early. Real Tamuro beating Carlos Cameni in the sixth. 1-0 Zaragoza. But the home support wouldn't be happy for long. Set piece to an open Raul Tamuro. He has got time to pick his spot, and he does. It's 1-1 in the eighth. Very well finished. Espanol making things happen from the run of play soon after. Valmiro Valdo with the space and with the time. That's a good combination. 2-1 guests. Zaragoza making them feel at home. Yeah, they're not making things too tough for the visitors. Valdo with a curler and it's out of reach of Cesar Sanchez or Sanchez Cesar, excuse me. That is well finished as well. The lead going to a pair only four minutes later. Pablo Zabayeta slamming the cross. Four goals by the 15th minute. Three of them to Espanol. Zaragoza's assignment getting a whole lot tougher early in the second. Peter Luchin earning a second yellow from that challenge. A home team down two goals and a player after the sloppy combo. Another look as Luchin prepares to hit the showers. That's Derek Taylor on the way to the change room as well as we <laughs> see after the show. But the host not done. Instead they claw back. Diego Melito serving it up for Ricardo Olivera. 3-2. Then in the 90th, how about this? This one is all tied up. Oliveira with his second of the match. The same two, squaring it up. Three. You could uh, refer to me as Derek Pex Taylor. For yeah. Something, because lately they win one, and then they slide back, and then they win one.